Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Nicholas James Ullman, uh, Business Administration Program from Canada, Ontario, you know, born and raised. Uh, and what paths did you take to get here? A long path. I took uh, all college level courses in high school, assuming that I was just going to be in the trades program. You know, just go trades through and you don't need university level courses for that. Then did two summers of trades, decided it's not really my thing, and now I'm here trying to work my way back into uh, university. What about uh, trades didn't interest you? Uh, the longevity. I mean, I really liked hard work. Uh, I love the pay, you know, it pays more than minimum wage, but I can't spend 35 years working with a hammer, just hammering stuff my whole life. My body will deteriorate. So what kind of goals now uh, do you have to do instead of trades? So now it's uh, get the highest GPA possible in the business program, uh, specifically the finance, and then from there go into uh, Sprott or Telfer, you know, which, whichever I decide in the long run. Um, yeah. What are your feelings about university? Terrified. Absolutely terrified. My, uh, my girlfriend is taking a stats class, and they're, they're learning essentially the same stuff as us, but it's just so much faster paced. Like, she's, she's on, like, two, two chapters ahead of us, despite having less classes than us. So that's, that's pretty big fear right there. Uh, you know, failure is, always, failure is always in the mind, but uh, I think I can do it. And did you have any obstacles coming into uh, coming into Algonquin? Yeah, yeah. My first semester, I got kicked out in December. So then I had to use the tuition money that uh, that was going to be for you know the second semester just to, to move out. Uh, I don't think it was that big of an obstacle after. I think it was more of a learning experience now. But uh, you know, during the time, it was pretty pretty big block. And if you could go back and redo anything, what would you do differently? University level courses, no doubt. Like. Try hard in high school. Yeah. Do homework. Do you have any advice for anybody who's feeling kind of beaten down right now in high school or in college or university? Uh, strap down. It's only two, three years. The rest of your life is just so much. You have such a long time. So for these two, three years, you know, that's it's nothing. And did you have anything in your personal life that you feel like you would want to share that affected you that you could share that would make anything different for... If you can, stay at home. Despite your parents being, you know, a little annoying, they ask you to do chores, it's just so much cheaper. Uh, you make a lot better decisions when you're home. It's, it's pretty much it, though. Do you have any career path goals when you finish school? Yes. Uh, my cousin runs his own financial firm, and he told me as soon as I get a university degree to go with him, uh, and I can work for him or a friend of his, and, you know, just actually get into the business. Uh, but from there, I'm... I want to be successful. No matter what I do, I want to be successful. My cousin's got a great life. He's got a you know BMW, big house, beautiful family. That's exactly what I want. Except I want a Tesla. What uh, what do you define as success? Like where will you make it? Where you've said this is where I want to be. Um, I I'm modeling my success after my cousin. But as soon as I am living comfortably, you know, no debt. Uh, I've got a big house, uh, a car that both my wife and I are happy with, and you know. Maybe kids, I'm not sure. I've got two little sisters, so I've seen the whole like childhood process, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. But, you know, we'll see how the future takes us, or where the future takes us.